I love playing these where you don't know that, uh, where you look at one of the characters and you don't know how they can turn out. Or oh, if you're asking if I'm still struggling, I am. And I'm telling you that as an outsider, you will always be struggling. This is, this is what this industry is and you have to live with it because you know what Bollywood is all about and you know how it is. I can tell you what I know which you might not know because the media is not telling you. Will it always be tough to get the good roles? Yes, because they're already gone to the people that are already set for them. The good thing about social media is you can follow who you like to follow. Nobody's forcing you. Hi everyone, this is Anla Zaruzi and you're watching me on Filmy. Hi, this is Nachitla from Filmy and today I have with me the very, pretty, very talented Anla. A very warm welcome hey. to Filmy Anla. Hi. <laughs> Firstly, many congratulations for Ranniti. Thank you. And all the projects that you've been doing, mm -hmm. uh, you're playing a double role. Mm -hmm. One, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first uh, double role. No, no, this is not my first. My first was in Sacred Games oh, with yeah, Jamila course. and Zoya. Yes. And then I played um, Sara and Wild Butterfly in Hootspa. I love playing these where you don't know that, uh, where you look at one of the characters and you don't know how they can turn out. It's the same with Jamila, this vulnerable mm -hmm. little small girl who didn't know how to speak Hindi and who was so unsecure, insecure and with, with the guy Tonde asked him like, can you help me become an actor? And then cut to the another scene where she's walking through all the paparazzi and super strong and you know, uh, speaking perfect Hindi and she knows what's up. It's a big shift, right? Yeah. Um, I think that's very special and it really helps you grow as an actor, I feel. While I know, I think there are lots of action sequences here and every mm -hmm. training is there. Uh, but I think you've been learning it like since uske pehle se, kafi pehle yeah. se. Yeah, yeah. I, I started, um, I, I always wanted to do action. I always had the dream of uh, doing action in my films or series. And then I was thinking, Chalu ji, uh, if I get a project now, kal koi aya and bola you have, you have action in this. Yeah. How am I ever going to do this? Yeah. I have I have no training whatsoever. Yeah. So that's when I decided by myself that besides manifesting it, I will also go and train for it. I will work for it. Yeah. So that's when I started MMA and um, then I got Raneti. Like everything fell into place. Okay, so you didn't learn any MMA for Raneti? No, you I, it for your I learned work. MMA to get Raneti. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to actually go back and read all the articles, media articles, kya hua, kaise hua, or even just the script you were following? I, I was following just the script, obviously, uh, because that was enough for me in that moment to know as an actor and to do what I have to do for the, mm. for the role. But yes, of course, I was aware of the attack. I was aware of what all happened. And uske Doran, maybe when we were shooting, I did get more information. I did because the series is also a very uh, real story, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like we're making anything up. So, uske saad saad bhi, I got more information on what had actually happened. Because I think that might help you in whatever the backstory you might be creating. I was playing um, Fahima, I was playing a Pakistani girl, right? right? Who is actually behind all this terror, right? Um, and then you get the shock of, no, I'm Netra. I'm, I'm here just I'm like you, <laughs> yeah, fighting for my country. Are you still finding a foothold in the industry or how, 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 how has your journey been and how you're actually foreseeing it? Uh, if you're asking if I'm still struggling, I am. And I'm telling you that as, as an outsider, you will always be struggling. Okay. This is, this is what this industry is. And um, it's sad in some parts, but in other ways, you, you have to live with it because you know what Bollywood is all about and you know how it is. And I knew it and I've been fighting for the roles that I want. I've been auditioning continuously for the things that I want to do. And I have um, just not given up, you know. But uh, yeah, will it always be tough to get the good roles? Yes, because they're already gone to the people that are already set for them. Yeah, yeah. So if you have 10 movies coming up this year, eight of them are already given to those names. The set people. Like and, the set, then, yeah. and then you have two for which a million people are going to audition. Uh -huh. So the, the, the chances are very low, right? But then again, I think I've done a good job with um, 
getting to projects like Made in Heaven, like Raniti, like Sacred Games, you know, all these big projects that have turned out to be iconic series by now, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, I just do not, generally don't like giving up. So um, for me, the thought of, chalo, theke nahi ho raha hai, to fir wapas jayenge Germany, that yes. that didn't work for me. It didn't work for me to say that people are going to be like, oh, Elnaz went to India and she couldn't make it and she came back. Yeah, yeah. It, you that's know, even that, that, and that's where I got the strength from. The fact that my parents would always push me, even though I'm the only child and they're left alone. But um, I just knew that, that I'm doing that for my dream. I'm doing that for myself. And no matter how many doors close, at least one of them will open somewhere else. And then you work your way up. I want to know your opinion on, is it, really important to stay relevant on social media and be completely out there to the people to the fans because they're like you know uh, there are two sides to every coin how do you look at it to stay relevant on social media i mean it depends what you want to do right um as an actor yes i think it's important to be in touch with your fans because of the day and age that we're in right earlier there was no social media and it was different but now that there is social media um, fans do have those expectations. I think it's important. I do it. Um, Halaki, I'm sometimes I get so busy and I can't do it on a regular basis. But I do it as much as I can and I try to give my fans also a little something in return and not just pretty pictures and whatever. But, but I do... Um, like how I, I started doing that when the whole Iran uprise happened and I would talk about it and I and I would try to educate because I do see, like the reason why a lot of people say, oh, you only talk about Iran, um, you don't talk about this place, you don't talk about that happened, this happened. And I'm like, because I only like to talk about things I have full information about. Yeah. I'm not going to come and sit here and give you gyan about something I don't even know myself properly. Why do I have a news channel here? I can tell you what I know, which you might not know because the media is not telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm here to educate you as much as I can. I'm here to make sure you don't run blindly, um, at least when it comes to Iran, because I have full information. The good thing about social media is you can follow who you like to follow. Nobody's forcing you. Yeah, yeah, it's a choice. Yeah, it's a yeah. choice. Aisa hota hai kya? You also get the repercussions of saying out things loud because you're known to speak your mind mm. and not filter mm. things out mm -hmm. and not be just all trying to be goody goody you're not no. someone I like I, I perceive it like that you're not someone like that right yeah do you ever feel that uske bhi repercussions hote hai? of course hote okay. people don't like outspoken people it's a very special thing when suddenly a woman speaks up and says something yeah. so oh. it's okay there are repercussions but um I'm not here to hurt anybody. If I talk about anything, then I'm talking about facts. And if I would ever want to hurt anybody is people who hurt people. Yeah. What's next? A lot. I cannot say anything, but I, again, I'll say I have a tour coming up. I have music coming up. I've worked on my album. When you say music, you are... Uh, I sing now. Singing. Yes, 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 wow. yes, <laughs> yes. So I have lots so of music that's... coming up. I have films coming out. Uh, announcements are coming literally within a month or two. So just stay tuned. Sorry, I can't give you any news right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We meet again. So yes. Yeah. Yes. That, that leaves space for us to meet again. Again. Yes. True. Can't wait for that. Thank and you. Thank you so much for joining thank us. You, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you.